Okay, so I'm going to talk about direct-based uh, programming. You have heard Jack, you have heard uh, Max talking about this is like in the middle, it's not as easy as using a library, but also as not as, not as hard as using uh, lower level programming. So um, uh, first I want to thank lots of people that I used materials from. Especially I, I, I got permission to use the uh, NVIDIA's uh, OpenMP training materials. So there's some slides and some of the, especially the, uh, the um, hands-on code, um, the um, Laplace equation with Jacoby Solver. I'm going to follow with their uh, OpenACC code and I convert it to OpenMP. So this is like we can um, see some details. And there are other um, Tim Mapson Simons uh, G programming GPU with OpenMP tutorial at SC19. And there's Mike, probably not going to read the list, but the other topics are what's new in OpenMP5 from Michael Clem. And then um, uh, Chris Daly is here. His slides have lots of his uh, performance data. And the NVIDIA bootcamp, uh, the, uh, there's also most recent DOE ECP um, BOF. So some data from there as well. One show. So I'm, what I'm going to do today is like not a separate OpenACC followed by the OpenMP talk. Basically, I want to try to like mix them together and because they're so similar. Lots of concepts are equivalent, so that's what I'm trying to do here today. Um, so first, CPUs versus GPUs. What we want to do is we offload something to GPU, but not lots of them, especially uh, maybe only very small uh, programming uh, like lines-wise, but make sure GPU is busy and lots of work to do and keep data in um, there as local as possible. Don't, don't transfer data. It's very expensive. Um, okay. So here are one sample OpenMP code and one sample OpenACC code. These are directives. Um, I'm going to tell you what's directive later. But they are like three lines um, added to uh, each of the original source code. And the compiler may ignore it if it doesn't recognize it or not enabled with OpenMP or uh, OpenACC support. So these are called directives. And um, pragma, pragma for, for C, C++, dollar band for, open, um, for uh, Fortran. Uh, so what are the advantages for directive-based parallelism are? Um, first, you can do incremental um, programming. You find your hotspots, you um, add some directives, and check progress, check correctness, and then repeat. It also allows you to maintain single source uh, sequential and parallel programming. You use a compiler flag to enable or disable, and there's no over, uh, major override of your sequential code. It works for both CPU and GPU. And it's very low learning curve because you're still in your familiar um, language programming environment, C, C++, or Fortran. You do not have to worry about lower level uh, hardware details. The compilers will hide it for you. <laughs> um, it, it's like multiple. Um, it also helps you to uh, port to different architectures. So it, let's talk about this. Is a, we call this device execution model. Basically, it's, it's host centric. It's host here, and then it will cross. It will uh, when you do the off offload, it will create uh, environment on the devices, and then start to map data there, and then offload work to there. And when it's done, get data back to the host, then can destroy the environment on the device. <coughs> um, there's a like CPU usually is a host, and then you can have multiple one or multiple uh, devices. Um, usually, they have separate uh, data environment, except when we talk about. Um, uh, managed memory or unified shared memory, but mostly they're separate. So this is a like a diagram for the a host and multiple um, devices with OpenMP target offload. Um, how do I do? So you target construct. You get onto the device, and then and then on this device you would do a teams construct to create a teams. a, 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 a team of teams, or you call a league of teams, and and one thread in it. That becomes a master thread of your team of threads later. But you have to do distribute. If you don't do distribute, the, 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 all the teams will do redundant work in it. When you distribute, and then you have a little um, team of threads, and then with that, uh, you would, uh, do, would do the parallel work um, more with the parallel forward and SIMD, um, and some, something similar to the, what you do on the CPU side, parallel forward SIMD. Uh, just remember there's no synchronization among the teams. 
uh, within the each team, you can um, do synchronization. So what we do, uh, the target is the Pragma OMP target. And here, teams distribute uh, parallel for SMD. We recommend it to do a whole bunch instead of separate. Um, the compilers will work it, work it out because each comp the reason is that because each compiler is actually with three levels, they choose different levels to to optim to to parallelize. So this way, you cover everything. Um, here's a little diagram how this it means. So here we see like target. My mouse is here. So you do dark. Uh, there's a data outside. We'll talk about data later. So basically, OMP target, and then the teams. You could have a number of teams here. But now, without before distribute, everybody would do all the same. You have a league of teams, one thread each in each team. At this point, all do the same. Now you have to distribute. Now this, this, this loop is going to be divided by multiple teams. And then each of them, when you do parallel uh, for SIMD, then each of the, you'll create more threads, more vectorization for each team here. Very, very similar to uh, the OpenACC type. So here, what the OpenACC has is uh, instead of target, you have parallel. And then again, you would you know, offload it to uh, your, your device. And then here, you have a GAN, on, say o o ACC GAN. But if you don't, ha at this point, just GAN here, you would still have the, everybody, you could probably create more, one or more GANs, but then they would do more redundant work as well. Then here you do an ACC loop, and then uh, loop GAN or loop worker, loop vector. Then you have more um, distribution, and, and then also more parallelism at the worker and vector level as well. Um, oh, no, not here. <laughs> so what you do is um, programma ACC parallel, and here you would do ACC loop instead of ACC loop, GAN, worker, vector, or if we have multiple uh, loops, you would take loop ACC loop GAN here, and then the next in, in the loop, you would say ACC uh, vector. For more hands-on tuning, you would do that, but at the beginning level, just do this and, and let the compiler choose it for you. So here are some sample open ACC codes. Um, the one first one is ACC parallel with, with that, without the loop. This whole loop will be done by everybody redundantly. And then you have ACC loop, or ACC loop, gain worker, vector. These two are equivalent and in some level. Um, so the loop um, is probably it's available in OpenMP, uh, ACC, in, in, in OpenACC. And it's already in the OpenMP uh, um, open 5.0 um, standard. So you will see the implementation coming out soon and it'll make your life a little bit easier as well. Uh, this is the very similar way you can do it in the open ACC, uh, in, in the OpenMP environment. Okay. Now let's talk about the syntax, OpenACC and OpenMP. We talk about a programma or um, a dollar pound ACC, and for, for, for Fortran, you would have and and not every end is, uh, depending on what directive it is, not every end is required. Some of them are optional. But for, uh, for, for C, there's no, no end um, part. It's by curly braces, or depending on if it's one line, then you don't need one. Um, so this would in inform that this is you know, a directive with OpenACC or a directive with OpenMP. Uh, yeah, so if uh, some compilers without, like you have to do dash F OpenMP for G GNU compiler, Without it, it won't. It will basically treat this as a, a, a comment, so it will not turn on OpenMP. That's how you can uh, keep the sequential code and parallel code in one piece. Um, this slide I, I borrowed from the um, OpenACC training material, it's like try to see how many GANs are created with the parallel, um, just just to give you some visual um, thing. So now you add it, or, uh, without add the loop, everybody does the whole loop. Now you add it, open ACC, uh, not Pragma ACC loop, and you create it. Uh, now the loop is distributed, and then um, without, and, and also underneath um, GAN level, GAN worker vector thing are kicked on, then do work more in parallel. 
this is also try to give you the again worker um, vec uh, vector worker thing again. Um, so like I mentioned about outer loop, you do the again worker inner loop to the vector is um, helpful because you want most inner loop to do the the uh, vectorization. Okay. For com for open MP, like I mentioned, there are there's three levels: Teams and Parallel Four and SIMD. But look at the list up there. Um, uh, a bunch of them have to basically use only two levels: Teams and Parallel. Ignore SIMD. And for Cray compilers, they used to ignore Parallel Four um, for for um, <laughs> CCE eight. But with CCE nine, the C is now clan um, LVM based. So it follows LVM um, protocol, ne protocol now, <laughs> Teams and Parallel. But CCE um, nine Fortran is still the classic Fortran. So it would ignore uh, the number of threads. And then the Intel and LLVM clan eleven is in under the plan. They will try to do all three levels. So what we what, that's what we said. We let's let's do OMP target teams distribute power for SMD, the whole thing. Um, there are some caveats that some of some of your algorithms might not fit so well. You have to separate them, or sometimes you want to collapse. There's like things in in, the, in between. You just cannot do that. It's okay. You can separate them. It's just that your thing will work for your um, application on this platform. It just probably won't um, with this compiler. It just probably won't. Portable, portable as used with, with this uh, combined approach. You just want to list um, some of the hardware and software mapping. So if you're familiar with, say, CUDA, or OpenCL, or the hardware, you know what they are. At least for OpenNCC and OpenMP, you can say GAN is team, work is thread, and vector is SIMD. Uh, sort of uh, Thread, or we could say parallel four for the OpenMP and CUDA. If you learned that, you have you heard of thread block, worker thread, and WAP. Um, so we said um, we recommend to use just ACC loop. But if you want to do it, make sure your inner uh, vector length is a multiple of 32. That's the size of a WAP. You want it uh, fully utilize that. Okay. Uh, so now I'm going to just walk through a. Um, Laplacian equation that um, the NVIDIA people provided <laughs> with OpenACC. I just want to show you with the OpenACC and with OpenMP and with all different compilers and how, how we uh, can, can just solve this problem. It's not like um, extensive optimization. There's uh, more things that you can, you can tile, you can loop, all these things not being applied just at this level. There's a data region being considered. But let's start from the beginning. And all these codes are also in the, uh, the, in the hands-on session, so you can try them as, as well by yourself. Um, so this is a C code. I, uh, did I say this uh, physical meaning first? <coughs> Basically, you have like a grid and do a big iteration. And then each in the middle of the grid, when the next time step, it's like average of uh, the boundary four. So then you have the new whole grid, and then you do your um, Error uh, checking to compare how this one is has been converged to the to the last time. As, uh, either you reached your maximum step or reached the iteration convergence um, criteria, the problem is solved. So the source code is like while error is um, bigger than that, you have to continue. Or if your iteration count is still less than your maximum, you continue. And then in that, you would do a calculation step, checking er check error, and then you do a swap your, uh, the, the, this time step to, to become the new one, become the old, and then you can't get, get, uh, calculate the new one again. OK. Um, before we go on, I want to introduce two like, normal uh, clauses we often use in OpenMP, but they, are also, they also apply to OpenACC, so they can, we, can, we can directly just apply it to this example without worrying about uh, like more complexities here. So one is rec a reduction. One example on the right side is that if you do you know, average in a loop, and you basically add them together and basically do a summation. But this is like not parallelizable if without reduction, because it's at um, loop index uh, dependency. Loop, um, so we have this clause reduction, and then and it basically it would with, with each thread it would actually hold on its local sum and then and add them together by implementation. So we want to use the reduction here. 
it, uh, I'll show you why we need that uh, in that, that um, application. And then collapse, if you have multiple loops, and when you do the collapse, especially if your outer loop or it's too small, then with the, with the collapse, you can have a much bigger iteration space to work with that can be um, uh, distributed among threads. So we, we did that. Now we go back to this um, application. Here you can see that the reduction is needed here because this max, uh, the error, every time you want to do, what you get a new error, you do a max with something else. So it's like a reduction of a max. Um, so we do that redux. Uh, and then in the original example, um, you have like two levels of ACC loop. And then for the I1, you also have an ACC loop. I tried with this reduction and collapse, it seems to perform better at least for my example. So I try to do that. And, and for, for, for OpenMP, it also um, it helps to do not just the outer loop. So this is the one we call this is a parallel implementation without anything else like data yet. And let me just introduce one concept of the CUDA managed memory. Just this allows you to actually, the, the compiler will help you to manage data like as if uh, now the, the host and, and, and uh, the device have shared the same memory space that you don't have to translate yourself. The compiler would do it. And there's now it will save you lots of data transfer back forward stuff. Um, it, uh, for the open ACC, it only exists in the PGI compiler with, as a compiler flag. You turn it on. And for OpenMP, um, with 4.5, you can do it manually, sort of uh, treat it uh, as a wrap, with a wrapper to do the regular um, uh, malloc with the CUDA managed, ma uh, <coughs> CUDA malloc managed, and then um, you can you can like get your um, uh, your, um, your your data as if they're on the same in the same same physical space. For OpenMP5, uh, as first you have your ha hardware to support this. You can check with NVIDIA, SMI or something. Yes, it's supported. Then uh, once the, the implementation actually supports this feature called requires unified shared memory, and you just add that. Um, it, I, I don't think it's available anywhere yet. <laughs> but yeah, so this is going to be much easier uh, for you to do it next time when it's on the market. So now here, well, let's try with this uh, managed memory and without and with and without. So the compile was p uh, PGI, PGCC, and then we wanted some optimization at fast level, uh, a Tesla CC70, and this mInfo gives you lots of, um, and the output tells you whether I'm doing my, you know, um, how am I going to generate my accelerator code, whether I am doing it, whether I'm parallelizing it, whether I'm getting, you know, some using my vectorization, et cetera, what block size or thread size I'm using. So you get all these. <coughs> However, with this parallel um, implementation, it immediately compilation fails with the C compiler. The reason is the C is uh, dynamic allocated and doesn't know the size. If I treat, treat, uh, use this on, a Fort on the Fortran implementation, it works, to comp it compiles. So uh, now we do it at managed. It doesn't matter anymore. It doesn't need to know the size. It runs, and it's um, not bad. And memory copy is like almost zero for this. If you manage it, there's no managed copy, data you need to copy. So here's a few of the data clauses. We start to introduce now, without managed um, memory, we need to add data clauses to the parallel. So what are the, they are the copy, and this one of them is to say, uh, I'm, I'm putting ACC and OpenMP together. One of ACC is called copy, and, and OpenMP is called map. There's two, and two from is, uh, next slide is a table to show how they are equivalent. And CC++ is like starting and length. And Fortran is starting and ending indexes. Okay, so this is the table. The, I showed the copy. Copy is the equivalent of map to and from in OpenMP. To and from is actually the default, but you can do just to or just from. To means from host to device. From means to from uh, device to host, like map here and that. And then copy in, copy out is is map to and map from, and create uh, for OpenACC is the alloc. Uh, with OpenMP. So you could alloc on the GPU, but that's not copy, like treat it as temporary um, data on, on the GPU. 
And there's a present, you can check if it's already there, then you can save some time. And, okay. So now we add data. Because you knew that you, when you, uh, on host, the, the data is allocated on the host, and then you're using it on the GPU because you do ACC parallel, uh, Pragma ACC parallel, so you need them to be on the, on the device. You do copy. For A, you know that you're gonna put in there, give them the initial data, and then when it's done, you want to get it back to the host. So you want to copy in and out from, um, copy in and out. And A new is, um, as well, because we have an initialization data there, uh, we, like I said, add, we added the reduction and the collapse. So, so now we have the data. Let's see. Remember, we also have a bigger outer loop of iteration while big loop. So this is like data every time in a, in a loop. So yes, it's very, very bad, like 200, 200 seconds. Before with the managed data, it was like about one second. So the reason is, so you can, you can compile, it says, oh, you know, I'm gonna, gonna generate this copy if it's not presently already there. So it actually it does. So this is the output. When you run, as run something, um, you get data. But there's also a simple um, thing, NVPROF or um, NSYS you can run which is the, the, um, the NVIDIA Pro profiler that um, you're gonna hear more about later. <laughs> um, basically, with that thing in it, you get some output that shows you actually how much time, how many times it's called, Three, over 33,000 times it's called to do this CUDA memory. H to D means host to device. D to H means device to ho host. Basically, with, for each max, uh, with each iteration, it has it started a new parallel um, region uh, off, uh, offload ICC region, and then it treats it, oh, I, I don't know my data, let's, let's copy it. And when it's done, copy it back. So this like 99% is spent on, on data copy, and that's why it's so slow. So let's, let's say, like I mentioned earlier, so let's keep the data on it as long as possible. Let's not do it every time in the region. Let's do it outside of this while loop. Because your, your data is like, you, every time you step, you reuse it, reuse it. There's no need to get it out. So there's like ACC data thing you can do, map, and OpenMP as well. You could do OMP target data map to and from. Now in it, you, you're, you have multiple um, parallel regions, multiple uh, target, it's, data is reused. So apply this to the, uh, uh, this uh, Laplace equation thing, you put it outside of while loop, use ACC data, that's a, a region. Okay. Same way you have, same way you compile and same way you run it, now it's back to one second-ish. And the, the memory copy becomes much, much smaller. Okay. So this is the OpenMP one, and I, I use Fortran because the Fortran, I actually use the Cray compiler, which is faster. Otherwise, if I show you the clan data, you'll see three seconds. But, but for the Cray compiler, it's <laughs> pretty fast. <laughs> so here is the, uh, the Fortran one uh, with the uh, OpenMP one, Fortran, and then also um, the data region outside of the while loop. So we can do better. Um, or not exactly about it. it, depends on what your application are. It's, it, the, the single, the structured data directory requires you that enter data and, 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 and data region enter for target enter, target exit, you need to be in the same function call. Sometimes in your big application, it's really hard to do. So you wanna do um, unstructured uh, data region so that you kind of enter and exit multiple times different places. Um, for example, for this, um, for this example, like you have an initialized array, you do an enter, and then you have um, later on, you can, in a main program, you do something and you exit. Uh, very similar, again, for OpenMP and OpenACC, just the uh, keywords differences-ish. Um, I mentioned uh, the differences structures, you have to explicit start and end with single function, uh, unstructured can multiple, uh, startup endpoints can branch across multiple functions. Okay, now back to this um, example code. You now 
have to enter uh, data copy in your initialization function and then exit in your deallocate function. The time-wise is actually pretty similar with the, with the small example. A little tiny bit faster. But this is the, the OpenACC version. And again, I did an uh, OpenAP version with Fortran. Um, actually, it's faster than OpenACC version with PGI. So this is the final thing I did all these runs. Um, everything is on the Cori GPU, except one, one dot here is the OpenMP with Excel, IBM Excel, it's on Summit. Um, so GCC, OpenMP is like way below performance than everything else. But otherwise, um, the um, if OpenMP CCE9 is actually very good. Uh, let's see, what is blue? Blue is C. So C is clan-based um, CCE9. Um, Fortran is uh, classic Cray. So CCE8, both C and Fortran are classic Cray. It's very good. Clan is still, uh, clan doesn't have flan. Flan is, doesn't exist yet, but will. <laughs> so there's only C version. Um, otherwise, this is the uh, OpenACC, uh, yeah, with PGI. There's a uh, regular version and managed version. Man, regular version, probably you can adjust more if you want to tune more. But, but up to now, this one is like not fully optimized. You can do more with each of them, with async and no wait, all these other things, but it's not up there yet. You can do that. It's just a, a data point up to this. Mm -hmm. Any questions? Okay, I'll go on. So, I want to mention something that um, I mean, doesn't exist on OpenMP. This is all ACC kernels. The kernels is the, like, you can just say, hey, I want this hotspot region to be on the um, target uh, on device. And I just put an ACC kernels there without doing anything. <laughs> of course, you need to mention, worry about some data. But otherwise, even data is like, um, like implicit. As long as it can manage to do, it will do the data for you. Otherwise. Uh, if it's not safe, um, and actually for, for the C code, I got runtime error with managed. No, uh, well, no without managed. Uh, confused now. <laughs> so basically, the, the kernels, um, even if there's any multiple loops, it'll try to do multiple loops for you because it's treat this as a whole region, and I'll do whatever is safe, whatever it can optimize for you. Parallel is basically is more like explicit way of the, the, the programmer tells, hey, I want you to do the uh, the offload, the parallelization, and hey, where are the loops I wanted you to add. Like, you do lots of menu. If you don't put a, a loop, sometimes some compilers do the inner loop for you, some compilers won't. I even found some compilers will do reduction for you <laughs> if you don't say it. But it's not uh, recommended. You should always uh, do as, as needed, if, especially if you want to run it with another compiler. It'll fail for you if you forgot to do that. With kernels, your correctness is, is guaranteed. And, but usually with kernels, it's not um, as performed as, as the hand-tuned versions. So as a start, it's, it's an easy way to do. So here, uh, not managed, I got runtime error for C. But for Fortran, it's OK. The reason is for the C, it doesn't know about its, its data. Something about illegal data um, address. Now with the managed, um, like I showed, it, remember the previous data was like about one second? With the managed, that's very easy to, come to do now with, without any data or anything. It's easy. But now the performance is not as good. It's 1.68 second. Um, OK, so that's the example. <laughs> um, I didn't use this update directive in that example, but sometimes in your code, you might do something. Uh, on the device, and then you want either or an, uh, then another region. But in between, on the host, you want do some you know exchange. So that's what our update is for. There's a self and device for uh, ACC, and from and to for OpenMP, meaning you know whichever direction it is needed. Okay. Okay. Now shift gears. <laughs> 
So I introduced all these things. Now let's just say um, what are OpenACC, what are OpenMP, how they are in the, in the community, how, what are the available compilers, and all these other things. Um, I think for what I said, showed is like they're actually pretty much similar to how do you, you know, add to your code, right? It's, it's more of the things like the real adding a directive is not hard. It's where to add and what to add. How, and after you add, how do you actually, actually modify your algorithm to be able to utilize the um, hardware you know, parallelism? So this is actually pretty the same with OpenMP or OpenACC. But um, so for the, the big picture, how, why there are OpenACC and OpenMP, the OpenMP is like here is a big OpenMP CPU, GP, and um, it's a, a, a open, a OpenMP is lots of compilers and supports lots of uh, architectures as well. So CP, OpenACC, like when, when I think when Target, is, uh, when, when Titan was around, it started to, we want something quicker to be able to perform well on, on, on the GPU. So OpenACC was like introduced in 2011. And then what we did is like OpenACC would have those features and things, and then OpenMP would say, this is good, let's take it. <laughs> so here is like um, features uh, in 4.0 started to do GPU target. 4.5 is a major you know, optimization for more target things. And for 5.0, the, the more features are like mentioned about loop and unified mem loop, ONP loop, unified memory, all these things. So more and more mature OpenMP as well. So OpenACC is still, GPU programming is still more mature than, an op, op, uh, than OpenMP at this point, for, especially for the NVIDIA GPUs. Um, okay. And here's the OpenACC resource page. Um, so here, for compiler-wise, uh, available on Perlmutter, we will have PGI, and GCC, while well, GCC performance not that, that good. <laughs> um, then Cray, Cray deprecated the uh, OpenACC support starting CCE9. And then uh, all the other DOE systems, mm, probably still those, because that's what OpenACC, um, the, the commercial or non-commercial bigger compilers available. For OpenMP, um, Again, we do have a web page, a list. The list is very long. It's like one third of it is, is shown here. Um, so for the parameter, it will be PGI, because uh, like uh, I think uh, Jack mentioned, um, we have uh, PGI with, and with, with us have an, an, an NRE that de develop the OpenMP support for the parameter GPU. The timeline is also when parameter is here, we would have an open compiled, open version, released version. So we will have PGI. We also expect that PGI would leverage their uh, OpenMP, OpenACC implementation ex expertise, so this would be a good compiler. And CCE um, now focus on doing more OpenMP than OpenACC. And CLAN is also only for OpenMP, not for OpenACC. GCC, uh, I put PGI twice, <laughs> and FLAN. Plan is also part of LLVM big effort uh, community uh, development involving, I think, involving IBM, um, PGI as well, right? Yeah. And, and Intel uh, over there. And then for the other DOE com com systems, I basically the same, but I added uh, IBM and <coughs> Intel and, and AMD. These are for the uh, other DOE lab bigger systems. The, uh, some in the summit front here at, at Oak Ridge and the Aurora at Argonne with Intel on the um, IBM is not for for uh, for, for the uh, frontier but for for summit. So there are more open and P compilers available. This is the a slide uh, concepts from the recent DOE open and P boss. They said, oh, let, we we need to make make sure we would uh, consider portable machine. Uh, solutions can target different plat um, platforms across vendors. So here's a list of these um, time-wise for that supports OpenMP. I, I mentioned them all earlier. Okay. Here I want to show you a list of conversion. It's actually almost one on one. So at this point, we would say um, conversion is not hard. If you already have OpenACC, it's more of the 
uh, how your code would uh, apply to which compilers and which um, which um, implementation uh, scheme, which compiler, the maturity of this would give you good performance. Um, I don't need to, to say this. I think basically the GAN worker vector is distribute, power of four and seventy, and then other of the number of the data uh, clauses. Okay, I showed this. Then I now another shift gear. Basically, I want to show you some of the existing community effort people are doing with comparison porting to OpenMP and what uh, the performance they're seeing. And I think the, the biggest um, uh, outcome from this is also people are, are d discovering lots of uh, compiler bugs in OpenMP implementations. Or people are finding things are missing that we, they wanted. They, they would ask for the OpenMP community to implementations to uh, fix it or to you know, include it in the next specification of this kind of feature request. So this one is from Chris Daly and Rahal. Oh, Chris is here. If you have questions, you can ask him. <laughs> um, a mini app, GPP. Um, so <clears throat> it's pretty similar to um, the um, AC, PGI OpenACC or CUDA. IBM and the other, the other three are the um, OpenMP, uh, IBM, Clan and Cray are the, uh, the OpenMP implementations. Um, pretty good. This is uh, one of the code sh um, results showed by the Oak Ridge people. They, the, actually the accelerator benchmarks and confer, com comparing with the OpenACC and OpenMP. The green ones are OpenMP is better, the, or the blue ones are OpenACC is better. So it's actually also the results in 2018. It's not most up to date, but still at that point, it's, it's the right version of OpenMP to compare, 4.5. Okay. This is also Chris Daly's uh, results, HP, GMG, and the compiler is reaching 70% uh, of CUDA. And he found lots of compiler bugs, which is good. Okay. Okay. There's one of the applications team did um, XS Bench, and what they think they said is uh, porting is easy, and they didn't find bugs. And IBM IBM XL is very fast, even better than the uh, CUDA one version. And clan is, is um, the issues and slower. Okay. I think I already mentioned this loop construct. Uh, loop constructs would do um, just like as in OpenACC, but also it makes sure your loop is done once exactly. Uh, not like in some other instances, like if you're in the nested loop and then it would, would actually give you Run, run it more than one time, but at least once. This one is like exactly once. Mm, so last few slides, I just want to talk about best practices and some recommendations. So for uh, OpenACC and OpenMP, I think it, to offload, it's uh, basically these applies to both of them. You know, you want to uh, give enough work for GPU to do, and compiler hint can give you lots of uh, information to, to find out what things are missing, what, why they're not vectorized. All these informations um, help you. There's a uh, Cray compiler has good hint, PGI has good hint. <coughs> Sometimes you want need to reorder your loops or transpose your, your arrays so that you could uh, expose more of the vectorization. And you want data to be on, on the device as long as possible. Um, Claps. Claps is good that you can have larger uh, workspace. Um, vector lens for OpenACC to be 32, multiple of 32. And lastly, choose all different, try all different compilers. I was surprised to see actually the CCE compiler was performing so well for that, for that code. Um, and try different compilers. And if it's not hard to do, you can try both OpenMP and OpenCC as well. So if your code already has OpenACC, especially coming from you know, the, uh, the Oak Ridge side, it's fine. Uh, Perlmutter with PGI, OpenACC, you can, you can continue to use it. 
maybe at some point when you want to port it to other DOE machines, you, you, you can probably transfer it to, to OpenMP, OpenMP. But if you're starting from new, if you're a new NERSC user, just for continuity uh, purposes, it's probably good. We've already been using MPI plus OpenMP for a long time at NERSC. Um, and with, open, with the uh, PGI OpenMP coming along, it's like naturally you could continue. Um, so the performance-wise, we, we looked at that is that it's on par or catching up with um, OpenACC, depending on which compiler implementation you're looking at. IBM seems to be pretty well, and CCE in some cases as well. I think also, but but all these OpenMP compiler implementations are like rapidly evolving and fixing, and, and, and then I, I like try starting starting to implement the 5.0 in, um, standard. So we'll see more and more better quality versions. Um, in the near future. So this, I already mentioned this. Uh, so we do recommend OpenMP for Perlmutter, uh, especially if you haven't used any of those OpenAC or OpenMP yet, and especially when you will use Perlmutter when PGI compiler for OpenMP is available. I think this is my last slide. Okay. Any questions?